Hello everyone, guess what? We're going to start a new segment, it's called Cryptid Talk. Basically, we're going to give our opinions about it, we're not going to say, like, we're going to give our opinion if we think it exists or doesn't exist and why. So basically, it's only our own opinion, I'm mean, sure there's people will fight for either or, so we can hear it. If you want to fight it, about it in the comments, you can. But overall, this is our opinion, so we're going to expose ourselves to different cryptids on this show and just give our opinions on it. It's something different. Give you a little bit of insight of what we think about it. And uh, if anybody out there is wondering what the cryptid is, think Bigfoot. That's a cryptid. Simple as that. That's the most well-known one. There you go. Alright, so you ready for this cryptid? He does not know what it is yet. He may have or not seen it. I mean, this was something that was popular. I mean, this video is back in 2013. I'm going to show him. And I'm going to probably show him a couple other videos, too. But this is the one I want to record his reaction to, at least. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a skeptic or nothing. But I'm not stupid, either. You can usually tell when something seems fake. You know? But if it seems legit, it's legit. So. I'm ready. Alright, so we're going to play the video. Okay. What the? We're with former NOAA biologist Dr. Paul Robertson and joined by Dr. Torsten Smith. He was the lead wow, that was quick. submarine crew that recorded on March 6th of this year the astonishing footage we just watched. And I'd like to start out with some reaction. Dr. Paul Robertson. Um, I'd really like to see what's on that second camera. <laughs> I'm glad. I think we all do. Our viewers at home, too, would like to see that. We're going to show you that right now. Let's take a look. Camera two. Whoa. <laughs> Doctor Robertson, sorry, can we just Is that the same can we play that clip just different? Can we get There's two different cameras. The footage of, the, of that back up there? Can we, in fact, why don't we take the both cameras, first and second sync, and let's roll them together. Can we do that? Take a look again. Wow, man, that's kind of startling. You got it. Dr. Robinson, is this the creature that you and your team found in South Africa? From what I can see here, yes. The, the body recovered was incomplete, but based on the remains that were taken... Oh, well, you actually the see the body. The same species. Right there. Dr. Smith, what did you think when you saw this and when you filmed it at the time? Well, I looked at it and uh, I just knew I was looking into the face of a, a, another intelligence, another species. Oh, wow. Dr. Smith, tell us... Who did you first show this footage to when you realized what you had done? Well, we knew we could not share it with the duty officers of the exp expeditions. So, um, we, uh... Again, you mean the Icelandic authorities who basically said that if you pursue this, they're going to threaten you with legal action. Really? Exactly. So we discussed it as a crew, and because we are Danes and Greenland is a part of Denmark, we thought we could go to the Danish authorities. So we did. I'm going to put up an article here, and this is just remarkable. Please take a look at this. This is Greenland's response to what the Danish authorities shared with them. The government in Greenland issued a total ban on all new drilling, all new oil exploration, and this was just announced on March 27th of this year, 2000. Is that what they were doing? And all of this in response mm -hmm. to the footage that you and your team shared with the Danish authorities. Yes, that's right. We have a map of this area. Can, can we put up the map right now? Yeah, I mean, this is near where you filmed the encounter, is that right? Yes. Huh. It's like a vast area that's huge. It's actually the largest the natural park in the world, uh, and also a coastal preserve uh, for marine mammals. And I think because of our footage was taken near that area, then uh, there was a lot of concern about the disturbances uh, to this habitat, and. And, and what that may affect to the animals there. 
Our kids aren't titans of industry. Or Interesting. All right. So basically, it was the mermaids. That was the one that's in question. So here's another mermaid clip. This was oh, this, this one looks familiar. It's where it's up on the beach or whatever. Okay. That looked CG as hell. Okay. For that one, um, <laughs> just the way it was shot, it seemed like, you know, we've been filming for a while now, and it seemed to me like it was staged. Just the way the filming was, and the way that their body movements were, and how they were acting, and it seemed a little too perfect. Honestly, just by, I mean, I would love to sit there and say I totally believe that's real. Especially when it sprung up, it just looked total CG. And the the way the camera was, was pretty shitty too, so. Alright, and we're doing one more video. Okay. Alright, that's the three videos. So, today those three videos, you say mermaids exist or don't exist? Well, I do, I do believe that these things exist. I don't think they would really be, I, I honestly think they're more towards an alien than a mermaid, so to speak. Because just that first, that first video it looked legit. It seems legit. And from what I've seen, it looked alien. It didn't look like what I would expect a mermaid to kind of look like. There was no maid about it. It looked hideous. Um, so I think the first one gets a pass. The second one, it just seemed very staged. The, the, the camera that they used and the filter that they used. You know, I use a lot of filters in my videos. And it seemed like it had a filter over it. It seemed like it was edited. And then, of course, the CG mermaid. I mean, it, it just doesn't... They had the, the, the look down. The setting looked amazing. But, honestly, if I saw that and without any context, I would think it was part of a movie. Honestly. As for the third one, um, kind of on the border of that one. That does look legit, but... At the same time, why why would they be filming that? Like, were they expecting to catch one? Like, was that the point? Or were they fishing? And just say, hey, let's record this first batch of fish. You know, it just seemed a little odd. Like, you know, I always question certain videos like that when, when uh, you know, people just like all of a sudden have a camera in their hand in the most inopportune moments. You know, not everybody has a freaking camera at the ready. I'm sorry. Yeah, we all have cell phones, but we don't always have the camera going all the time. <clears throat> and uh, I got a cell phone. It takes a few seconds to pull up a camera. And this person was already filming. Why was he filming? Well, yeah, look at our fish. It, it seemed like they were fishing, <clears throat> catching or, or doing crayfish, crayfishing or something of that matter. <clears throat> and, um, you know, with that, I, I see... I, seems a little odd to me but it did seem kind of legit but you know even like film 
thought process for me personally, if I was trying to make something scary, that would be a great setting. Seriously, on the side of a boat, you set it up and you pull up some... And once again, you could use CG. People are so good at it nowadays, you would never even know. You know, even the, the cheap the people with no freaking money, they somehow managed to make CG videos. You know, just just the, the world we live in nowadays where people will actually do that and try to play real things off or, or fake things off as real or real things as real and they're really not real. So overall, the mermaid is an aquatic ape, ape theory. Basically, they believe that the human evolution had a branch off where they, some went into the ocean, some kept going on land. So basically, they believe that the mermaid could exist by just this gradual stage of going deeper and deeper in water like the dolphins. For me, I mean, it's so hard to say with this one because, I mean, mermaid, it seems so, like, Fairy tale-ish, but hey, pandas at one time were considered fairy tales. So who's to say there isn't something like this that exists? But in these videos, it's more or less like I would say the second two, like he said, were more likely some sort of CGI or some sort of trick. The first one though was like if they did a trick, they did it. They put a lot of effort into that. To put two cameras into it. They did. I um, mean, especially when they're involved with authorities, so they're going to risk their own jobs at it. I mean, there's a lot there that's at risk for those people. So I'd say the first video is the hardest one to, uh, to actually figure out. Right. I mean, overall, if they did fake it, good kudos. That was a great video. <laughs> well, I think, you know, their their reaction to after watching what they've captured and then watch another angle of it that they haven't even seen yet, supposedly, their genuine reaction was you know, they looked terrified. So... You know, I mean, if I was underwater and something random hit my window on my submarine, I would, I would soil myself. That is beyond freaky. You're down, who knows how far down in the water, when you're supposed to be down there with fish and sharks and maybe squids and whatever else. Not some creature with that doesn't even supposedly exist. You know, and then to back it up with, you know, the the government. Oh no, you can't go down there anymore. Why? That's why. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it seems more legit to me, even the more I think about it now, it just seems, you know, their, their reaction, the way the video looked, and, you know, it's free, made me jump. I mean... So, on the scale here, because we're going to have a scale, because there's oof, three choices. It actually gave me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> so we have three choices, either myth, le or real, or plausible. That's going to be our three categories. Which one would you put it in? Well, if it, it's the idea of the mermaid that everybody's looking at, I would say plausible. But personally, I think it's more, there's more to it. It's something different. I, I always believed that there was like some kind of underwater city with a certain type of species like us. And that's what these things are. And we don't know about them because they're so down below the, the oceans that... They're unidentifiable. You would never find the city, or or land, or whatever it may be. You know, who knows what's out there? We don't know. We really don't. So for now, I'm going to say plausible, but I do think that whatever this was, I don't think it was a mermaid, so to speak. I think it was something else. Then I would say yes. I totally, truly believe it. I think it's real. So I'd go in the plausible category also. I mean, we can't prove everything that exists in the ocean. I mean, their theory is all correct and everything, but a lot of people say that this documentary, what this documentary you saw that from these videos was mermaids, the body found. Mm -hmm. There was a fake documentary basically created for showing people this. But overall, it was about sonar testing. But who's to say that what they're describing can't exist? I mean, it could exist, evolutionarily speaking. I mean, we want to have dolphins, we want to have whales. So who's what's to say a monkey couldn't do the same transition? Right. So basically, if you say it can't be real, you might want to question your own logic because anything could happen in nature. So overall, it's going to be under a plausible. Plausible, plausible. Plausible. <laughs> so, until our next episode, which we don't have a time frame for, we're going to just start this series, but we figured we'll start it out with a bang with one of the more controversial ones. Right. We'll end it with that. Thank you for tuning in. Until our next cryptid talk, give us suggestions, give us ideas, and get throw some cryptids out there that you'd like us to watch a video of and react to. Sounds good.
Peace out, everybody.